think if I if I comment too much, I would be in big trouble. So I'm not going to say anything. How frustrating is that? I mean, you mentioned you were had those opportunities in the first and the second, 14, 6, 14, 8. You just not be able to capitalize on that. How do you keep it the closure? And yeah, we've been there before. You know, it's uh, sometimes you're not going in. Uh, sometimes you get six lucky goals in one game. So that's that's hockey, and and uh, we kind of stick with it. I think we we made maybe Talbot's job a little easy tonight. We didn't get in front of it like enough. So so. Uh, yeah, frustrating one. What you see on your goal and just how I think both of your goals to make him off non space offs where it's like well, how important is he in that regard? Yeah, he's very good. You know, he's uh, he's been being good. I think his most of his career. So so it's it's a big part of the game. You know, face offs on the power play. If they win and clear, it's twenty seconds off the clock. So so a good job on by Nas. And when you say make it harder to tell, but do you just mean like more traffic in front of him and stuff like that? Yeah, I think so. Just just a little bit more traffic. Yeah, I think he was seeing a lot of pucks tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Probably weren't very surprised uh, that the game was kind of chippy between these two teams, right? Uh, no, not surprised at all. Um, it's always been that way when I was on the other side, too. Yeah. So um, at the at this point of the year, obviously, there's big points on the line. And uh, I think you also want to establish kind of your game going into these last, what do we got left, 16 games, something like that. So they're a, they're a possible opponent in playoffs, you know, and do you want to you show them that you're you're ready for playoff hockey? I think it was pretty close to playoff hockey game. So how do you think just as a team you guys collectively play? Oh, very well. A really good hockey game, I thought. Um, I'm not sure what the shots were, but it's kind of been uh, the story of the last couple of games, like a lot of scoring chances, a lot of offense. Not, uh, you know, maybe that one bounce here and there, the stick breaks there with Nui on the three on two, stuff like that. And then on the back end, you know, I didn't think we gave up a ton, but, you know, right now that's it's just going in. There's still a lot, like, a lot of stuff that we can clean up, but... Overall, I thought we played a really good hockey game. Yeah, so. Disappointing. Yeah, of, your... yeah, of course. Really wanted to win this game, um, but uh, like I said, I'm 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 confident moving forward and seeing how we play today and uh, knowing that we can still elevate our game. I think it's still another step for us. So, um, like I said, a couple of areas we can clean up, but I'm really positive about what we showed tonight. What do you think in general about being back and getting the ovation from the crowd? Sure. Yeah. Uh, I honestly tried to kind of the whole last 48 hours, maybe tried to brush it off as, you know, just another game. And um, honestly, with so, so we stayed down in Egan in the hotel. And so it was a completely different way to the rink for, for me. And so it, it, it kind of didn't really feel that familiar coming in. So it was kind of, it was kind of odd. Like uh, I, I thought it'd be, it'd be kind of weird coming in, but um it, it didn't feel like I, I'm, I'm playing hockey here anymore. It feels like I'm playing hockey for Colorado. So um, it, overall, uh, I am happy that it's over with that first game. Yeah, I am. I yeah. heard you converted Taylor into an ass fan, though. Yeah, yeah, that, that didn't take much convincing. So <laughs> it's a pretty, pretty easy job there. Or, yeah, just how do you feel you're assimilating into the team in general? Like, how do you felt about your first few games? Yeah, I think, um, you know, they... Uh, on the offensive side, like I said uh, for the last game, I think there's tons of scoring chances every game, and it'll go in eventually. For Nui, uh, especially, I think we've had a couple of really, really good looks over those five games. Um, and then, like I said, face-offs are obviously a big key where I try to really bear down and penalty kill as well. Um, overall, though, I think the mentality in terms of how we try to play a game with pace really fits my style as well so i really fit in there and i feel really comfortable and uh, and the coaching staff is giving me uh room to make plays as well whereas i, I maybe feel like i didn't have that before um so I, I just feel like i got a lot of trust and 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 you know can't wait to see what's coming in the next couple of weeks thank you Angel. thank you we got someone german over here okay. especially that last one do you think that dj deserved that one nope <laughs> The other power play goal, uh, and Confer was in the box. Nope. Is there anything else you can say about that? Nope. Are there any penalties you think deserve? Yeah, EJ's the scissor play. Yeah. 
the puck gets to him, it's not a penalty, but um, he reverses, hits her skate, doesn't make it to him, and he hit him. So that's tough luck on EJ's part, but it's a penalty. What did you see on the play that they called it for cross checking? <sighs> no comment. The, you obviously don't want Nate to fight, but he, he stepped in a role that uh, obviously Gabe usually does if any of his line mates are hit like that. Just overall thoughts about Nate's reaction to that play. I'm to expect it. You know, I, that, that he's a competitor. He didn't like it. Clean hit, hard hit, but, you know, he jumps in, sticks up for his teammate. I've come to expect that from him. What are your overall thoughts about the game? I like the way our team played. Yeah, I liked it a lot. I thought it was a good hockey game. You know, it was uh, – I thought our checking game was really good. Didn't give up a lot against a dangerous offensive team. Um, created quite a bit. Didn't didn't finish our chances, obviously. Took us a long time to get on the board after creating some pretty good chances. So, didn't shoot the puck well. Yeah, I liked their game, though. It was, it was a good hockey game from our guys. Excited to see the power play continue to roll and get that goals. And yeah. Yeah, it was uh yeah, it was good. I thought you know, we we did some good things, you know, we got some good looks. Five on five and the power play. It's good it's good to have that power play role for sure it helps. Because right now we got some guys struggling five on five, right? So um but yeah, it's been dangerous. Miku said that he, he thinks that well you got a lot of shots, there could have been more traffic in front of Talbot. Do you yeah. agree with yeah, hard to get there though. They do a nice job sealing out early and, and establishing body position. So you got to give them credit. But our guys were working to get there. We just, you know, there were some rebounds first period. Most of them popped out past us. We kind of tried to make an adjustment there. We did it, did some good things, create some scrums in the net front, getting some good looks. Got to find a way to bury a couple. Safe to say that that's an area where obviously the latest guards back that could help. Well, that helps for sure. Yeah. You get two goals off draws, both wins by Connor. Yeah. Uh, you guys are down in the, in the league in terms of face-offs, but uh, obviously those are two really good plays. Yeah, been been a lot better though since we had added those guys. Right, Sturm's you know amazing in the in the face-off circle. He's been winning um, sixty percent or more every game he's played, and it's helped out with some other guys too. Helm on the penalty kill. Kadri's been doing a nice job. So I think that's an area. Obviously, on the year we started so low, but uh, recently I've liked it a lot. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir.